Hi everyone, welcome. Um, you are here with Sarah Duque from Sarah Lynn Stamps and I wanted to share a card with you. I actually saw a card similar to this online and I just thought it was absolutely adorable and wanted to share it with you tonight. So this is a quick and easy card when you have the snail mail suite and I'm going to show you how to make this. There's a couple of little tips with this so um, it's going to be fun and I hope you enjoy it. So anyways, this is a snail mail suite. This is the bundle actually. And this is a stamp set. It's absolutely adorable. I love this one so much. And um, these are the dies that come with it. And so most of this card I actually was able to cut right out of the dies. There is some paper. Where is this? Right here. That comes with this. Some designer series paper. And as you can see it has little snails and presents. And there's some envelopes and stuff on here. And all of these different images I use today to create this card for you. And so this paper works seamlessly with the dies and Stampin' Up! just has a way of doing that, making sure that everything coordinates together. Now let me show you these dies. Pull this out for you. So mine are kind of falling apart, but one thing, this is a little frame. It's kind of like a little postage frame that's gonna stamp out or punch out paper. And then this one here makes a little envelope. And so we're going to use that today to make our card as well. Additionally, like I said, I also punched out a snail. And it's a good thing we opened this because one of my little dies is, oh, there it is, is hiding. So that's the little snail right there and the little envelope that we're going to use. And this is the big envelope. So I have already pre-cut all of these out with my stamp and cut and emboss machine so that we don't have to spend our time doing that today. We can just get down to business. But I wanted to show you that all of those things were, you can just cut out with your stamp and cut in a boss machine. And because they're small, you can actually put through a few of them at a time in your machine. So it really doesn't take much time at all to get that done. So this is where you can find it. Snail Mail is a suite that is in the mini catalog, the January to June 2021 catalog. And it's all on page 54. So if you're looking for it here, you can find all of it here. There's some really nice ideas on this side of the page. And you can just see how cheerful and bright, colorful this suite is. It's just a happy, that's why it says happy mail. <laughs> and so these are the set. The other thing that I did use for this is the postage rectangle stamp in order to punch out this image here. But you could use your square die and just run it through a couple times to get that out as well. And another day maybe I'll show you how to do that so that that is really easy to do if you don't have the postage stamp. But the postage stamp just makes it super easy. So you get this entire suite for $95 or you can get the bundle here. I think you can purchase it as a bundle. Let me just see here. Snail dies and here's the stamp set. Here's the bundle, I knew you could. The bundle's listed right up here. So when you buy it as a bundle, so that's the stamp set and the dies together, you save 10%. And so you get $60.25 for the bundle, or you can get everything on this page here for $95. Anyways, I wanted to show you where that was in the catalog. The other thing that we're going to use right now, as you know, it is celebration. So with a $60 purchase, you get a free item out of this brochure, um, well, a level one. If you spend $120 or more, you get a level two item out of here. And so what we're going to use today is actually a level one. So with the purchase of the suite um, or the bundle, because I said that was $60, right? Let me go back here and check. I'm already forgetting. Because the bundle is $60.25 or the suite is $95. So with purchase of either of those, you qualify for a free level one um, item out of this catalog. And so what I'm going to use today is this free Oso Ombre Designer Series Ombre. I always say Ombre because it's, you know, Spanish and it just, whatever. Oso, Oso Ombre Designer Series Paper. So we're going to use this free item in our card today too. And I want to show you a really fun way that you can use that. So, all right, let's stamp. Okay, so what you're going to need is a piece of, this is the um, Bermuda Bay. Oso ombre, ombre, sorry, oso ombre paper here. And it's two sided. So on the other side, you'll find Rococo Rose, and then there's Bermuda Bay. Um, there's also um, Blackberry Bliss and Green Granny Apple Green. So those are the four colors that you're going to find in that package of paper. Today, we're going to use the Bermuda Bay. And so what I wanted to show you is actually in the stamp, you'll notice 
One of the stamps here is this little saying, little speech bubble. And when you get your stamps, it comes with this little piece in the middle. Like you'll find a big sheet here that you punch out all of these different stamps with. And one of the pieces is this little circle that's in the middle. And don't throw that away. I'm going to show you why today. This is actually a delightful little stamp to use on so many projects and it makes a really nice background. So we are going to use this also ombre paper today and this round circle stamp to make a background. And so what we need to do that, I'm going to pull out Just Jade ink. This is a classic stamping pad and it just is a little bit darker. I found when I used a Bermuda Bay, it didn't quite stand out as much as I wanted it to. So I chose to use a little bit of a darker um, shade for this. So all we're going to do is take our circle and we're going to just stamp it randomly on our page and see how that already just makes a beautiful um, background here. You don't have to do it with any pattern, just stick it wherever you want and we're going to just cover our whole page here with these circles to create our own background. And I love how it starts out dark and it goes light and so the the polka dots basically start to stand out more as you go towards the bottom. It just adds a really interesting texture to this. So that's what we're going to use that for. All right. So the other items, I'll show you what I've punched out using the dies tonight. The other things that I've I've punched out are I have one of those rectangle frame or those square frames. I punched out a little cute little snail out of the designer series paper, as well as a little envelope. And I chose the one that has the red stamp because it'll kind of pull everything together. And then this little present here was off of the designer series paper as well. It doesn't have a die cut, but I just fussy cut that out in about 10 seconds. So those are the different items that we're going to use um, and that we have completed already. This is what comes out of that little envelope die. So when you cut it out, I'm going to try to bring it up here a little bit. You'll see that it's embossed where we need to fold. So you could do it this way or you could use this side, but obviously this is a little less exciting for my envelope. I'm going to use this side. And all that you need to do is fold up the bottom, one, one edge following the part that's already been um, pressed for you or embossed for you. And I'm just having trouble seeing here without getting my face too close. So we're going to just fold that along the embossed edge and of course I'm not folding along the embossed edge and that's why I'm having trouble. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of adhesive just right here at the point and then both of these sides, make sure I'm in the camera, are going to fold over on the embossed edge and just meet up in the middle. So we're going to do that. We might have to add a little more adhesive depending on if the first one covers it all up. Let's add just a tiny bit more adhesive and actually I used um, mini glue dots the first time I did this and I think that maybe it worked a little bit better as you can get the adhesive right where you want it. But it seems like that worked okay. So now we have our envelope and we're going to set that aside with all of our other pieces. Now what we need to start with here is our card base. So I have a sheet here of basic white measuring eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to just fold that in half and then give it a little bit of a um, a nice crease here with my bone folder. So we have our card ready to go. The other item that we need to prepare for our card and see you can see this is popping open on me. So I'm going to go back here before I move on and I am going to go back and use the mini glue dots to put this in. So mini glue dots are great. You can just stick your item right on it and the glue dot just sticks to it. So you can get it exactly where you want it. Ideally. There we go. Set that aside. And then now when I put that down, my glue dot's going to stick to the middle and my next glue dot's going to stick to the other side. And now it won't come undone. All right, let's move on. So we do need to stamp one more thing and that is this Happy Mail Enclosed um, stamp. I'm going to use Memento Black Ink, which is the perfect ink for all your daily um, black stamping needs. So this will work with everything other than watercoloring. So if you're going to watercolor, you need to make sure you use the stays on. Other than that, this is the, the ink that you're going to want to use. All right, so I've stamped Happy Mail on there. Set that aside and close our ink pad so we don't get ink everywhere. And like I mentioned, we're going to use the rectangle postage stamp to punch this out. All right, so on the back, we're going to open it with the, with the lever there or the latch, whatever you want to call it. I always like to go in from behind so that I can see what I'm doing. 
we're going to put that kind of in the middle and punch that out. See, it just works perfectly with, with that stamp. Okay, we've got that done. So let's start assembling our card. So I'm going to take our designer background here that we made and add some seal to the back. Now you could use any adhesive of choice. You could use a liquid glue. You could use um, seal plus. You can use whatever you would like. This is what I'm going to use here and put that in the middle of my card. All right. So what I like to do is actually I like to put it together on this little square and then I'm going to adhere this square to the front of my card. So first things first, in this little envelope we're going to put the Happy Mail enclosed. So I'm going to just stick a little bit of adhesive on here and I'm just going to stick this in a little bit offset, kind of like that. And actually there's one thing I should have done first. This little envelope, I've punched this out. You wouldn't have to, you could color this in if you want to, but I love the little red postage stamp. And it comes in the set, so why not? So all I did was put a little bit of adhesive on the back and then stick it right over top where that other, where that other envelope was, just like that. And we'll set, set that aside for a second. And now this guy and this guy, we're gonna adhere with dimensionals. So let's put this on first. All right, so let's put a little bit of adhesive on the back of our envelope. And we're going to just stick this on a little bit again, a little bit off kilter. And you can kind of lay your stuff out first and see where you want it. But I have the benefit of having already made one. So I sort of have an idea of where I want everything to go. <laughs> um, and then this snail is going to go on here with his little present in front. So let's do this with dimensionals. So dimensionals are these little foam adhesive pieces that you use on the back to add a little bit of lift on your projects. So this adds a little bit of texture and dimension and really does make a big difference to your projects. Now here I'm using the very tail ends of my dimensionals. And because if you've watched another video I did this week, I completely ran out of dimensionals this week. So I am like pulling from the corners and uh, trying to just get enough adhesive and enough dimensionals to create some, some projects. All right. So I'm going to put this here a little bit off to the one side. I kind of want to balance off. So you can see here I've gone off the edge on this side. I want to go off the edge on this side a tiny bit as well. And then I'm just going to take my present and put that right in front here. Okay, and that's all that we're going to do. Now we're going to adhere this whole piece onto the front of our card right here. And I tried adding some other pieces to this card, some different um, embellishments and ribbon and twine and every time I did it I was just like you don't need it you don't need it it looks fine just how it is leave it alone so <laughs> that's what we're doing we're doing a nice simple card here that I think is really beautiful and really features this gorgeous background that I love so much so you could use this on so many different projects and I wanted to show you how easy it is to pull a card together when you've got the right supplies and all the die cuts to make it just simple so in no time at all, you can cut this stuff out and have a beautiful card. So there we have it. That's it. This is what um, you could make this evening or whatever evening with the snail that stamp set, the snail mail bundle. If you have any questions, I'm going to put below, I'll put a link to the supply list that I used today as well as a link to um, shopping at www.sarahlynnstamps.stampinup.net. If you have any questions or you have any um, you're wondering about how to enter in your celebration, your free items, please just reach out to me. I'm happy to help you at any time through um, direct message on Facebook or by email at sarahlynnstamps at gmail.com. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again. Bye.